elaborate further why you were applying under the special process is because the NGC income is registered under the cooperatives and the not company, right? And could you share more about your funding for the campaign, like how is it going? Uh, now, uh, under the Constitution of Singapore, to be eligible uh, to stand for election, you have to be the uh, a minister, a permanent secretary or certain special occupations, positions, or you have to be the chairman or CEO of a, a company with 100 million in share capital. Now, the I have been CEO of NTUC Income for uh, 30 years and uh, its share capital is 500 million. Uh, its assets is $17 billion. So uh, the only difficulty is it is not a company. It is a cooperative society. So therefore, I have to be applying under a special clause. Uh, the clause says... Uh, of similar experience and stature, something like that. Uh, my legal advisor can give the actual wording. Uh, so therefore, this is uh, my application under that special clause. This is subject to the uh, decision of the election presidential election committee, whether or not to grant approval. Uh, many people think that uh, I'm very well qualified, although it is a cooperative technically, so we have to wait for the decision of the presidential election committee. Now, uh, with regard to uh, my funding, uh, I have got uh, uh, pledges for right now about $50,000. And of course, uh, there's another big item, a $48,000 deposit that I have to make. Uh, that deposit I will contribute on my own. Uh, and then the uh, uh, the funding of 50,000, uh, part of it comes from me, majority come from my supporters and helpers. Uh, that will be enough for what I call a shoestring budget. I know other candidates say they want to raise $500 million, but for me, I, I'm more modest. Uh, 50,000 is a shoestring budget. But if I do get another uh, more, more money, then I can increase my outreach activity, have more posters, flyers, and uh, more helpers to distribute them. So right now, I do have enough money uh, to contest the election, but I do hope more people will come forward to uh, to donate. 500,000. Ah, sorry, uh, I said something wrongly. <laughs> Another candidate says 500,000. A half a million dollars. Mr. Chan, just picking up from that, uh, in order from Chong uh, News Asia, uh, what has your legal advisor told you about your suitability or eligibility as a candidate under the Constitution? Um, do you think that you do stand a good chance? What happens if you fail in your bid? Would you then um, appeal, fight it? That's one question. Next question is... Um, how do you see yourself standing against the other two potential hopefuls? Uh, well, uh, it's not only my legal advisor, but my own reading of the Constitution says, uh, uh, in all fairness, I should qualify. You couldn't just uh, say, because you're not a company, you don't qualify. Because I think the responsibility matches many times uh, what uh, other candidates would qualify. So I'm quite confident I will uh, receive the uh, approval. Uh, if uh, I don't, which is your question, uh, then uh, my committee will have to decide what to do. It's not my decision alone. Uh, now, uh, the other two candidates are excellent candidates. Any one of them will make a good uh, president for Singapore. Uh, but I want to bring to the election uh, my own platform. Uh, and my platform is uh, uh, I want to be the voice of the people uh, I want to be independent of the PAP government but still to work with the government you can't uh, do achieve much if you quarrel with the government so I want to work with the government uh, I want to bring an alternative view and hopefully uh, through a process of discussion consultation uh, it can uh, bring better results and I also have the platform to uh, 
address their concern about their CPF and national reserves. So those are what I bring. Uh, many people say they want to have a voice. Uh, they want to be heard. Uh, I, I think I probably represent uh, the person who has got years to listen uh, and uh, able to, uh, uh, to think independently. So those will be the things I bring to the people of Singapore.